What is up guys and gals, gals and guys, and you read that right in the title, 100% correct, we have Newt with double frag power. So I got the first one from the Battle Pass and I got the second one from the Wheel of Torture. I don't even want to talk about how many tokens it cost me to get the darn thing, it was a lot. I had to average so many stinking tokens per match, it was insane. But now that we have the double frag power for Newt Newt, we have to sit here and decide, is it worth it? Does the double frag power take this card from being okay to good? That is the question that we now have to answer. There you go. Look at that beautiful double frag power. So the first frag power for Newt is a health increase. It is very useful whenever this guy is tanking damage. And with the health increase, he can put up the health numbers with the Lucha Boys of the world. It is very, very impressive. The second frag power is an ammo increase. You get five more rounds per shot, uh, per clip. And honestly, you actually notice that part. I consistently with Newt whenever I was playing him, um, I felt that I just was running out of ammo just a little too soon because of the damage. And that frag power really helps him out with this particular category. Excellent job on his on that particular buff there. And I, that's the one I'd recommend. Now, what do we think of these two frag powers as a whole? Oh, I've talked about this before. Newt is a tanky penguin. He has a lot of health and he's very tricky to kill. The only major concern that I had with Newt is the AI. The AI is just not there. Uh, but that's the same for pretty much every single frag character, unfortunately, um, is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Now, with the frag powers, there was several noticeable differences um, that came out of the gate here. The first of which was the extra health. The extra health is really nice whenever you're facing people that are consistently putting implants on their cards and running cards trying to increase the damage, trying to increase burn effect, slow effect, all this other stuff. The extra health really does help with that. The other thing that I liked with the second uh, frag power was the extra rounds. I just feel so much more comfortable now with those extra rounds than I did without them. I know that sounds really silly to you frag players out there, but those extra rounds actually make a huge difference because like I told you before, with Newt, I felt like I was consistently running out of ammo. That frag power seems to have fixed that issue. Now, the things with Newt, guys, that are tricky to master is the ultimate ability. Um, now, with the ultimate ability, it, you really got to get good at figuring out where your opponent's going, where he's going to be, so on and so forth. If you can do that, the ultimate bow is very good. Um, and honestly, it's kind of one of those situations where it's a lot of trial and error. Um, I really, really like him. I really like his ultimate ability. I think it's very useful. And I've also loved the fact that he can go through walls and all that. And that combined with the fact that he is just so darn tanky is a huge plus to have on your side of the field. And honestly, I can't say that enough. Um, man, that bubble timing was just unfortunate right there. <laughs> um, yeah, so overall, I like the double frag powers. It's fun. You can kind of see what I'm doing in my gameplay here. Um, sorry about the Lily action here for a little bit. Newt's on respawn. I got to wait, you know, how this game goes. It looks like he's coming back soon. Come on, Newt. You can do it. You can do it, Newt. Come back to us. Come on, Newt, Newt. There we are. Man, why does he... He always seems to spawn really far back. Do they program where AI spawn depending on what they are? I wonder. I have to check that out. Um, but you're noticing... You'll probably notice the fact that he takes a lot of damage to kill him. Good survivability. Um, he can even toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Jaeger of the same level. Uh, and that says something. Um, unfortunately, he's not a Jaeger counter... Um, he's just able to match. If he's one-on-one, -on -one, he can match up. And if you hit your shots, Newt will survive. In fact, let me just show you guys a couple of the kills that came from this particular set of matches uh, in order to demonstrate the benefits of the frag powers as a whole. Frag to frag.
and we are back. Now we're going to give you the final grade with Newt. Uh, before the frag powers and after the frag powers as we now have had a good feel with both of them I have been running Newt quite a bit since I got him guys his frag level right now I think is 10 or 11 um, and I'm pretty happy with that I'd like to try to get all my cards to about that range as it's it's a very attainable goal And it makes for very interesting knowledge on the cards and how to play them and the play styles that go along with those cards now Newt without the frag powers I would say is an A grade character the fact that he has so much health and honestly does pretty good damage for what he is it's a it's a big thing guys it really is and if you get really good with the ultimate ability you are incredibly annoying to whoever you are facing and that is a good thing being frustrating for your opponent is a good thing honestly whenever you put the frag powers on this card he really doesn't change the rank too much he's a little higher a grade character and that's good um, but he's still an A grade character at the end of the day and he is very killable and he does have a lot of counters. The big thing with him is the health pool. If you can get that health pool to where you're happy, this card will tank a lot of damage for you and honestly gives you a second viable tank for your uh, adventures in Frag Pro Shooter if you would. Very very interesting to note that um, and also honestly this card's just fun. Newt is a fun card to play, I like his play style. It's kind of unique. It has a fun feel to it, and when played, effort, uh, when played flawlessly, the card has a huge upside. And there is something to be said for that, as most cards, even played flawlessly, are not viable. This card has a viable niche. I'm just trying to figure out what it is exactly, and that's good. That's how you want the cards to be, in my opinion. You want them to feel like new, fun, viable, and able to kind of do a little bit of everything. That is such a good thing with this card. Now. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you all come back for tomorrow's video. It's going to be a banger. Stay safe, and I will see you legends next time. Bye-bye.